friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract in a vitrectomy eye vitrectomy was done about 5 years back silicon oil was injected in the vitreous cavity the silicon oil has been removed now the patient has come with this cataract this is a hard brown cataract and it's a very leathery type of cataract let us uh, watch the surgery by this time the main incision has been made uh, the anterior chamber has been filled up with viscoelastic substance a side port is made on the left side of the wound about 3 clock hours away now capsular excess is to be done i take a ureta forceps make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule go to left side hold on side guide this tag all around and at this time the anterior chamber became shallow i should have injected some visco but it was a small area so i just finished it off now head dissection is done with psis and 27 gauze cannula we could see the fluid wave going from one side to the other side there is faint red glow this is a uh, this is not uh, olomerati this is topcons oms 800 having fairly good glow the superficial lens matter is it enough now the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus and i try to get a crack but the nuclear mass resists cracking you see it's resisting crack and i have to go to a deeper level next time here I have gone to deeper level and trying the crack and I have got a better crack. Hold again here and every time I am trying to go to a little deeper plane so that I get a through and through crack. I have got a free nuclear piece and I emulsify this. Rotate, hold this piece, crack and try to emulsify this small piece. but the endonucleus is resisting its forward movement ultimately it came around the endonucleus arsenic power being used is 80% flow rate is 48 ml per minute vacuum is 480 ml of mercury this is the last portion of the nucleus at this time see what i am doing i am peeling off the epinucleus from the nucleus and using the epinucleus shell to protect the posterior capsule in vitrectomy style if you have a rent you don't get time immediately the piece will drop to the macula because the vitreous cavity is filled with just aqueous humor and now this is the last portion i'm trying i always try to remove some cortex by the hand piece itself and i take care of the posterior capsule whenever i consciously do this with full concentration i don't get a rent i get rent in usual routine cases where i don't expect a rent So injected visco and see lot of dirty things are sticking to the posterior capsule some are in front of the capsule which i can touch some are on the back surface of the posterior capsule which i can't touch on the back surface of the posterior capsule there is some silicon oil uh, small silicon oil particles and some dark mm, 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 black pigments kind of things sticking to the posterior capsule which i can't clean so i need not 
spend much time in trying to polish these things because these things will not come out. What I have to do is, after about two or three months, I will do ear cleanser if the patient doesn't get significant improvement of vision. And if I think that this opacities are causing some obstruction in the pathway of the light. The central area appears clear, central 3 to 3 millimeter area and I am ready for implantation of an intraocular lens. Injecting visco to fill up the bag and a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. Here it goes. This is a C cartridge. The lens gets compressed, so be slow in injecting because if you inject first, suddenly it can go as fast as a bullet and it can go into vitreous. So be slow. You can be uh, of moderate speed on the fast half of the mm, lens coming out, then you just stop, push very slowly. Deliver the nucleus, place the lens in the capsular bag and start removing the scholastic substance if you have used it. If you have done hydroimplantation, this step is not required. We go behind the lens always, go behind the lens. Just push the lens, come at the edge of the lens and slightly, very still delay, go behind the lens and nothing will happen to the posterior capsule. Be gentle and nothing will happen to the posterior capsule. Clean the visco that is between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule. Sometimes a lot of viscoelastic substance is trapped in this space. It, it can cause a lot of rise of intraocular pressure in the postoperative period even in the night the patient can have discomfort can have pain can have steamy corneal edema next day patient will not be happy so clean the visco between the lens and the posterior capsule very nicely and then again i am using bimanual irrigation aspiration cleaning the visco nicely sweeping around so that the visco that is in the angle gets displaced and comes out so all the visco has been irrigated out, has been aspirated out and now we are ready to conclude the case. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. Most of the time my main wound is such that it will not require any hydration. So what I do is I come at the main wound with the Simcoe like this, fill up the chamber and come out. And now I check with the cotton tipped Johnson Bart if there is any leakage. No leakage is there. So here we conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Just be careful to protect the posterior capsule in vitrectomized eyes because if there is a rent, a piece will immediately drop and it will settle on the macula. You can employ the technique that I have shown for the last two pieces of the nucleus. Peel off the epinuclear shell and use the epinuclear shell as contact lens to protect the posterior capsule.